beauty about action is about karma is as you go on doing it it actually changes you that is the beauty of karma yoga you are trying to change the subject through objective means many people think that uh, well good people do good work but if anybody keeps doing good work he will become good this is the glory of action this is the glory of karma yoga agar aap acha kaam karte raho automatically you develop the sanskars and become good so today this is what we will be studying how action leads to character character formation because you see we are going to study leadership if you today go to a leadership workshop or a personality development workshop they may give you certain very superficial ideas like leadership depends upon communication skills soft skills grooming all this these are all of secondary importance try to understand the main thing about leadership is the integrity skills, of your personality these are all of secondary if you are an integrated human being the main thing basic integrity is there basic character great character is there you mean you what you say you are purposeful you are totally committed to your goals basic character if your character is very character high is you will be a natural leader people will simply follow you because your will be, will be so dominant over the wills of others naturally not out of great effort so you see leadership skills basically means this great character and in any field of life to get success you need this ah uh, if this element is lacking struggle as you may success will not come so today so you see the sanskar produced in your mind is directly proportional to your intent or motive behind the work and so if you have to create great character the motives behind your behind the work you perform should be very good isn't it the motive should be very clear remember mixed motives will give mixed results clear motives will give clear results so the motive behind your work is what actually people work upon if that motive is clear you will leadership will just come out of you naturally i can give you one example here from the life of uh, a late president dr abdul kalam how he was a natural leader because his motives were always so clear uh, i don't know if you have read wings of fire have you read it yes his autobiography you see there you will find this incident when the first slv3 was launched in 1979 he was the project manager and it it so happened that because there was some valve defect although it took off well you know slv3 uh, it, it's the first rocket rocket required to launch satellites so when that was launched due to some defect it plunged into the bay of bengal hmm and immediately there was a press meetings the press uh, became very excited about all that was happening and then uh, there was a meeting for inquiring into the project everything and do you know dr kalam just stood up and took the whole responsibility upon himself and said that uh, i'm sorry this happened and within a year he created another rocket uh, that was the slv3 launched in 1980 july which was uh, simply super successful it actually even uh, put uh, rohini into orbit the the satellite rohini so the thing is when this happened again the press was very excited and they interviewed him and then he you know during that interview he gave the whole credit to his team the very same team had worked for the previous launch also for the previous rocket also now you see the characteristics of a leader this is what i'm showing you what character means when he was when they were unsuccessful the leader took the whole responsibility upon himself when they were successful he gives the credit to others so this this is called character this naturally will come into a person who is very clear and committed about his goals who has basic inner integrity and vivekananda used to say that character is nothing but a bundle of your sanskars the aggregate of your sanskars that second effect of good work goes to make your character ha huh? if always the motive has been pure the intent has been pure for your actions it has been good it has been noble yes, it has been elevating it has cumulative effect uh, upon your mind and this it. generates your character you see this level of development which you saw in this incident will come naturally 
इफ दैट दैट एग्रीगेट संस्कारों का जो समूह होता है उसी को हम चरित्र बल के कहते हैं सो वर्क डायरेक्टली लीड्स यू सी द सेकेंड इफेक्ट ऑफ वर्क डायरेक्टली लीड्स टू ग्रेट कैरेक्टर एज यू कैन सी and that is why let me quote to you what swami ji swami vekananda says the character of any man is but the aggregate of his tendencies the sum total of the bent of his mind we are what our thoughts are isn't it thought is nothing but mental action hmm and that is why take care of what you think thoughts live they travel far whatever work you do whatever thought you think every movement of your body bears an impression on the mind stuff bears an impression on your mind and we at any given moment what we are is determined by the sum total of these impressions on the mind mind every man's we character is determined by the sum total of these impressions if good impressions prevail the character is called good if bad impressions prevail the character is called bad you see how simple it is through action you generate What sanskar sanskars sanskaro ka samuha ko hi hum charitra kehte hain character kehte hain so you see it is in your hands to create make a great character and to be successful in life because i tell you in the workplace actually what is going to matter is the person what you have made out of yourself is going to have all the impact and that is why this is very very important what kind of a sanskar i generated it is something similar to your law of mass action you have studied it law of mass action what does it say so what type of mind i have generated is very important for success in life please know this just adjusting superficial aspects will not do you must become a person of that type unbending highly principled and absolutely committed to your goals and you will be naturally a leader and karma yoga that's why helps you do this now one more thing we should you should remember you should understand here is you see this sanskar goes and creates your habits also your tendencies and so character naturally becomes a bundle of your habits so vivekananda used to say don't say a man cannot improve he can improve at any time because character is nothing but a bundle of habits you can change your habits isn't it you can improve them so also a character the character of a man can change for the better you can work towards that so you see nobody is hopeless that is the meaning and then practically how does this help us what generates character is a socially oriented will this is something more we should understand if the will is working towards what i can do for others then naturally your actions will bring good to everybody something your na- actions will naturally create very good sanskars in your mind so a socially oriented will see the life of any leader whether you take gandhi ji ishwar chandra vidyasagar vivekananda shiva ji rana pratap what was the will oriented towards george washington abraham lincoln take anybody it was a socially oriented will i will try to provide the maximum benefit to the maximum number of people i will try to make changes in people's lives i will motivate them towards high thoughts high actions socially oriented will i will try to change the lives of others you understand this this is the natural you can say tendency of a leader and this is what contributes to leadership skills once you know a, a young man came to vivekananda and told him that um, this actually happened long before we got independence mm. he came to vivekananda and told him uh, swami ji i want to meditate please teach me and then vivekananda told him uh, he looked at him and saw that neither is the mind prepared nor is the body prepared an emaciated young man with a restless mind coming and asking how to meditate and vivekananda asked him what do you do every day and he said well i sit in my room for a long time in meditation i close all the doors and windows and i try to stop my thoughts but nothing happens and then vivekananda told him look my son first thing is you must open the doors and windows of your room look around you see the people who are suffering in your own locality see the people who are in need go to them do what you can do for them serve the sick bring education to the children of your 
locality who need education, who cannot provide for themselves. Do what you can, do your bit for others, and you will see, you will be, your mind will naturally be able to meditate. Meditation will become a natural process if there is this socially oriented will. And if there is the personally oriented will, no, meditation is impossible. So you see, this is the starting point of character building, that the will functions towards what can I do for you? How can I help you? This is the point you have to digest. And by doing this, constant doing something for others, bringing good into others' lives, you will see you naturally overcome all your negativities, your depressions, your anxieties, and create very good sanskars for yourself. These are the unique characteristics of leadership. Uh, you know Kiran Bedi, 